Hi, I'm Mark, and on this channel I talk about Brexit and UK politics. Despite excellent poll numbers, the British opposition Labour Party cannot be certain of its victory in the upcoming general election, at least according to an expert. If he comes to power, party leader Keir Starmer will face a wall of expectations, said the director of the Chatham House think tank, Bronwyn Maddox, to the German press agency. It's a party with a lot of different views and voices and everyone will demand their version of Labour, Maddox said on the sidelines of the Labour Party meeting in Liverpool. There are also demands for higher wages in the public sector and an end to collective bargaining disputes. If he wins, the work will really begin, said Maddox. The Labour Party, which is essentially social democratic, maintains good relations with the German social democrats, which are in trouble at the moment. However, experts point out that the currents within the party represent a spectrum that, when applied to Germany, where I live, extends from the extreme left to the Greens to the conservative uh, wings we have here in the social democrats as well. In all surveys, Labour has been well ahead of Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's Conservatives for a long time. And accordingly, the party would take over government for the first time since 2010, after the next parliamentary election, which is expected to take place in late 2024. However, Maddox emphasized that the party is facing a tough election campaign in contested constituencies. The trend in Scotland, where Labour has... Um, hardly held seats in the past, is positive now. But it's a tough fight in terms of where the constituencies are and how big of a swing Starmer will need, said Maddox. And at the same time, Maddox contradicted allegations that no one knew what Labour stood for under Starmer. The party leader and the Chancellor of the uh, Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rachel Reeves, had represented their plans, for example, that they did not want to introduce many new taxes. They would stand for fairness, more social justice and equality. People think he's an intelligent, trustworthy leader, but they are not yet sold on him, Maddox said. It doesn't feel the same as it did before Tony Blair won, he says. In 1997, Labour enjoyed overwhelming success. At the same time, Maddox emphasized that many people now want stability after the chaos surrounding Brexit and within the Conservative Party with several heads of government. That is an opportunity for Starmer. Labour leader Keir Starmer appealed directly to British voters on Tuesday, saying his revamped opposition party is best placed to boost economic growth and offer the country the hope that things will be better for their children. In a speech to his party conference, possibly his last as opposition leader as an election looms next year, Starmer made his pitch fully aware that while voters are angry with the ruling conservatives, they might not yet be in love with Labour despite its hefty lead in opinion polls. Aitre Starmer knows he must try to convey a sense of reassurance that Labour can get to work on fixing a multitude of problems from poor public services to sluggish growth. What is broken can be repaired, what is ruined can be rebuilt. That is what he told hundreds of the party faithful at the conference in the northern English city of Liverpool. He promised a Britain strong enough, stable enough, secure enough for you to invest your hope, your possibility, your future. One where there's certainty that things will be better for your children. After becoming leader in 2020, following Labour's worst election defeat for 84 years under veteran left-winger Jeremy Corbyn, Starmer said the party is now ready to govern with a program for two five-year terms or a decade of renewal. He set his manifesto delivering on infrastructure, rebuilding the state-run National Health Service and attracting investment will be totally focused on the interests of working people. A message to ease concerns on the left of the party that Labour has become too close to big business. 
Buoyed by a victory in an election for a parliamentary seat in Scotland last week at a by-election, Starm and his party are increasingly confident of their chances at the next election. But the message from Labour is still one of not becoming complacent. We have to be a government that takes care of the big questions so working people have the freedom to enjoy what they love, he said. More time, more energy, more possibility, more life. We all need the ability to look forward, to move forward, free from anxiety. That's what getting our future back really means. Well, according to recent polls, the British Labour Party has a good chance of winning a majority in the next general elections in 2024. A YouGov poll conducted in September found that 44% of voters would vote for Labour, compared to 31% who vote, uh, would vote for the Conservatives. And this would give Labour a lead of 13 points, which is more than enough to win a majority in the House of Commons with their electoral, electoral system of first-past-the-post. And there are a number of reasons for Labour's strong position in the polls. Firstly, the Conservative Party has been damaged by a series of scandals and resignations, including the Partygate scandal and the resignation of Boris Johnson as Prime Minister, and not forgetting Liz Truss here. Secondly, Labour has been seen as a more competent and credible alternative to the Conservatives. Under the leadership of Keir Starmer, Labour has moderated its policies and focused on economic issues, which has appealed to many voters so far. But it is important to note that polls can change quickly and the outcome of the 2024 general election is still, of course, uncertain. And there are a number of factors that could affect the result, including the state of the economy, the performance of the two parties in the run-up to the election, and the turnout of different groups of voters. Overall, of course, the British Labour Party has a good chance of winning a majority in the next general elections in 2024. But we must not forget that the outcome of an election is always open until the day of the election. And we have seen so many surprises in, in the past that this is really an open race until the day of the election. And if you want to know more about UK politics or Brexit, the next video is right here on the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.